This is Eric Axtetter uh, from geospatialsolutions.com and GPS World Magazine. Here with Bruce Carlson, Carlson Software. Gary. Great to see you, Bruce. Hey, what's going on this week with Carlson? Uh, we're focused on several new products that we've uh, brought out in the last year. We merged in a, a Swiss company and a, a UK-based company that had developed a product previously named Car2Goo that uh, we've renamed GIS360. And it's a, uh, it's a little bit of a departure from uh, Carlson's data collection focus of the past. Mm -hmm. We've been highly survey focused, yeah. and this moves into the GIS market by offering a very simple icon-based interface that would appeal to the non-surveyor, mm -hmm. the uh, utility, um, data collector. Natural uh, resource mapping, all that sort of thing. Yes, right. uh, the, 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 the person involved in cartographic mapping, it's been uh, utilized by many cadasters in the, in the third world, mm -hmm. uh, and it's uh, also been sold into utility operations in Western Europe. Uh, and so we plan to bring it strongly into the U.S. market uh, mm -hmm. and expand its sales uh, worldwide. We've also, for this conference, brought out ServePC with a dynamic loading of Esri ArcMap docs, okay. the MXD files, where we capture the exact map that you see in ArcMap 10, as well as have full access to the Geo database. Mm -hmm. So we're actually approaching GIS at this conference from mm -hmm. two sides. From the non-surveyor side with GIS 360, okay. and from the surveyor side with ServePC with mm -hmm. its new Esri linkage. One of the things that we like to emphasize to the GIS market is, with our extensive driver library, we bring full access to precision GNSS, precision measurement mm -hmm. uh, for GIS professionals. In the past, we always talk about sub-meter or even meter accuracy, and I think the market is now moving towards uh, precision GIS measurement. If you get a manhole, you want to get it accurately. I think so too. And good elevations too. And right? good elevations, so right. you can measure the offset to the invert, and, mm -hmm. and, and you store that, and that's much more valuable than, than a, a just a, a rough measurement, mm -hmm. particularly if you're going to utilize that GIS data gathering for stormwater calculations, mm -hmm. uh, say. But accuracy is always better than less. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, so just as a background, a Carlson is a hardware agnostic software company, right? You really don't care which hardware it is, and you've got drivers for Lots and lots of different manufacturers. Yes, right? and we and we wish that the hardware manufacturers were software agnostic, but they <laughs> they, they tend to want to uh, uh, sell the, the 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 full solution, including yes. the software. Yes, and 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 sometimes uh, do not provide full access to mm -hmm. their hardware. This is a new development since about 2006 in our industry, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, the beauty of it is that the vast majority of manufacturers do have open systems. Mm -hmm. And in fact, many of them rely on Carlson Software for their software solutions mm -hmm. for surveying. Uh, one nice thing about the Carlson Software products, if you master our software interface, you can be hardware agnostic. You can move from one mm -hmm. hardware to another mm -hmm. and uh, still stick with the interface you're familiar with. Right. Well, here we are with Bruce uh, going to show us a Serve PC demonstration. Yeah, I just want to put this product in perspective. What's unique about it is you're actually loading up the MXD ArcMap doc file and working directly on it in the field. And what's interesting about this product is that our product superimposes the ability to window in, pan, and if you collect a shot, if I take a measurement, the actual attributes of the geodatabase associated with the ArcMap doc are accessed. So if I choose one of the options, one of the feature codes, then I can fill out the attributes which it automatically prompts you for by reading the MXD file. So it's, it's very integrated to the actual ArcMap doc and its associated database. You work live on it in the field. This avoids importing and exporting. And it's, it's a breakthrough, actually, because not only can we read and write to Esri ArcMap docs, but we also have DGN capability in here where we load native 
MicroStation files, as well as native DWG. So this is, I believe, the first fully cross-platform data collection solution. I want to emphasize it is on Windows, XP, and 7 solely. By contrast, if I get out of this product and switch over to GIS 360, this is a very cross-platform product. It works on Apple, iOS, it works on Google Android, it works on Windows Mobile, and it works on Windows PC level, the XP or Windows 7 platforms. And this is the product at the other end of the spectrum of GIS data collection that is tailored to the uh, non-surveyor, uh, somebody involved in cadastre mapping, someone involved in utility mapping. It has wonderful links to um, uh, external devices, such as devices that detect pipes or, or buried electrical lines. It has a simple icon-based interface where it's, it's very intuitive, and it also links to the attributing. As you see here, as I'm creating a, a, a building with a, just a few attributes predefined, I'm gonna just hit this uh, map icon and it switches over to another map overlay. You can read uh, a variety of Esri maps that can be downloaded over the internet live while you're in the field, if you have an internet connection, or loaded in the office or where you do have an internet connection and then cached and saved by name and recalled when you're in the field. We read uh, uh, Google as well as Esri, Bing, and I think 14 different map services uh, with this product. So they're, they're at either end of the GIS spectrum. One for non-surveyors, one for surveyors. Uh, very flexible platform-wise and feature-wise.